Hey gang, hi, welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Are you? <laughs> Happy to be with you all. We're on lesson 247 and I have the privilege of reading this today. Thank you. Without forgiveness, I will still be blind. Without forgiveness, I will still be blind. That's a refer inference that we're blind right now, yes? Well, if we don't have Christ's vision, we are blind. That's right. Yeah. We're still relying on the body's eyes to tell us what reality is. That's it. That's why we need forgiveness, yeah. Is there anything at all going on while we rely on the body and its senses? Uh, no. So everything that we've been thinking and who we think we are and the story of mythical me, none of that's true. Okay, it's what we're beholding in blindness. So without forgiveness, I will still be blind. Sin is the symbol of attack. Why is that, sis? Mm, good question. Isn't it an attack? Well, sin, well that's a good question, sis. Yeah. Sin is the symbol of attack. Mm -hmm. It must be because if I, if I believe in sin, I cannot believe and know my God nor his son right for me mm -hmm. yeah for, yes so the the thought of separation separating from God separating from our brother that would be an attack it's 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 excluding creation from what we think we are it's it's an act of defiance and yeah, separation. Yeah, defiance and separation. It's an act of rejection. Rejection. Major rejection. Thank you. That's the word I was pulling for. Yeah, we're rejecting oneness. We're rejecting God and his creation and his perfect son, trying to make it. Yeah, so this idea of separation and sin, it's the symbol of attack. Behold it, sin. Behold sin anywhere. And I will suffer. For forgiveness is the only means whereby Christ's vision comes to me. Let me accept what his sight shows me as the simple truth. And I am healed completely. Brother, come and let me look on you. Your loveliness reflects my own. Your sinlessness is mine. You stand forgiven, and I stand with you. Can you Whoa. feel that? That's Jesus no. speaking directly to us. Yeah. I'll just... It's so beautifully built on, you know, the preceding lesson, like there's one plan back home and that's God's plan. And God's plan is that, you know, you will remember his love for you when you see it where, you know, in your brother. And now this belief in sin, remember the body is a symbol of the idea of separation. So while I still behold a brother as a body and different from me, I'm going to suffer. But there is a way to behold my brother through Christ's vision. And if I accept that vision, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, behold me, brother. Um, no, give me your blessing, mm -hmm. holy son of God, that I, may, that I may behold you with the eyes of Christ mm -hmm. and see my own innocence or sinlessness in you. And here he says it again, brother, come and let me look on you. 
When I behold your loveliness, it will reflect my own. When I behold your sinlessness, I will be able to recognize my own. When, I, when you stand forgiven in my sight, then I recognize that I stand with you and I find my own forgiveness. What a relief. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, do I want this more than I want the emotional surge I get when I behold a brother through the lens of the ego? Different or... Um, you know, judging or opinions or fear or hatred or lust or desire as a body. While those things have a payoff for us, we will never know our own sinlessness. We'll never know God's love for us. This is the big, this is the war in the mind. But there is a way to behold your brother if you're willing to and you want it more than the sense of separation that will give you your absolute freedom. That's why your brother is your salvation. He offers, every single brother offers you your salvation. It could be holy if you're willing to drop the ego filter. Let's look at the prayer here. <clears throat> So would I look on everyone today. My brothers are your sons. Your fatherhood created them and gave them all to me as part of you and my own self as well. Huh. Your father created them and gave them all to me as part of you and my own self as well. So if I'm rejecting a single brother or myself, I am rejecting God. Say that again, Sue. So if I am rejecting a single brother or myself, I am rejecting God. Thank you for allowing that in so deeply. As you guys know, I'm really going through the whole hatred lesson and, uh, just making that final connection that all it is is all it is it's you know it's an attack on God it's a way never to know God yeah okay. yeah thank you for your courage to look upon it with Holy Spirit Sue. yeah Today, I honor you through them. Today, I honor you through them. And thus, I hope this day to recognize myself. Without forgiveness, I will still be blind.
So what he's saying here is today, I honor you, Father, through my brothers. And thus I hope this day to recognize myself as your beloved son. Yeah. It's a big lesson. Oh. So we could be interacting with God itself and every brother, but for seeing him as a body, but for attaching that body to a past, but for the way the eyes perceive them, but for our judgments, our self-justification, but for the war, the attack that we're enjoying instead of the direct experience of God in our brothers. Boy, we are so insane. Yeah. You can say that again. We are so insane. Thank you. It's good though. It's good getting down to the wire here, seeing it so, so clearly. Okay. We're all leaning in to behold what is there and forgive ourselves for the line of defense that we placed to, to prevent our seeing our brother's holiness. And behind every brother is your ability to find yourself. In every, bro in every brother, <laughs> we will find ourselves. Yeah. It's Just inevitable. One. It's one self. It's that light again that we all share. It's our I shared identity. And it's there. It's just, do you want to see that more? Because what you want, you will see. That's a law of perception, right? Yeah, right. A law of perception. Ah. God help me. Oh, you're okay, sis. I'm holding your hand. Jesus is holding your hand. We're all going through this together. Yeah. It's perfection. so easy. <laughs> Sorry, perfection is unfolding here. Yeah, I know. Uncomfortable. I trust yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, family. Yeah, thanks, beautiful family. No doubt you also, because we're all one mind right together here, you will no doubt be probably going through something <laughs> similar yeah and it's called disillusionment yeah and we all have to go through it we won't turn to the christ in our brothers and sisters and we won't turn to god our father until we become greatly disillusioned with the with the ego yeah. that's it yes right that's the process it it's, is the process it's perfect okay yes but you are being rebirthed mm -hmm. I just keep getting this vision of reaching my hand out to my own hand like the holy self's hand, you know, just mm. finding myself, searching diligently for, <laughs> I'm not this, so where am I and what am I? Yeah, thank you. Uh, All right, onward. That was 247. Thank you. Thanks, family. Thank for you, doing. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.